Welcome to how to prepare for retirement. In this video, I share with you how to prepare for retirement. Not in terms of uh, the skills, uh, attitude you need to develop, but in terms of the documentation, the documents you need to keep in place. Welcome to my channel where I teach, I share with you my experience in uh, personal development, career management, uh, business acumen, entrepreneurship, and how to build assets online. If you are new to this channel, my name is Paul Uduk, and I'm an ex-banker, and uh, recently I started learning how to do business online. So, you are welcome. It's appropriate I talk about how to prepare for retirement uh, after the video on uh, where I shared you, I shared that my Retirement, my pension is $89, $89. So, it's a, I think it's the right time for me to share with you how to prepare for retirement. When you are 18 years old, 19 years old, and just starting a, a career, and look at your retirement in 35 years, 35 years <laughs> looks so, so far away. So, you do, people don't even bother. But I believe that I, I share with you, I, I, I advise you to uh, prepare. From day one, prepare from day one, and uh, you retire the, after 35 years yeah. or 60 years in age, whichever comes first. 30, 30, 35 years in, in service or 60 years in age, whichever comes first. So, as I mentioned to you, I recently went through uh, pension verification uh, where the uh, exercise. And it amazed me <laughs> the amount of uh, the documentation, the documents they required, and uh, which nobody ever mentioned to you while you are in employment. If you are lucky, you are in, in, in an organization that does uh, a lot of uh, good onboard onboarding orientation, and uh, you are all these things are mentioned good, but there's some organization that hardly mention retirement to new employees. So. Honestly, I went to the verification exercise uh, almost uh, uh, empty-handed. I didn't have any documents. And uh, considering that, since I joined, uh, I mean, I started uh, working in my first uh, organization, I've changed residence more than seven times, more than seven times or even eight times. And uh, each time you change residence, you lose uh, documents and so on and so forth. So it's very important that you keep your employment uh, letters, and uh, your certificates in a special place that you will not misplace. Just pray that you don't even encounter fire or theft or whatever. So keep your documents in a particular place, in a place that each time you move, make sure that that is the first document you put in your car and, uh, and so on and so forth. So what are the key documents that you need to prepare, you need to have? Number one is your employment number. Employment number. I didn't know my employment number. I mean, I took up. I didn't know my. I for, I forgot to employ my employment number. Uh, nobody even mentioned to me my employment number. All right, you have letter of first employment. The letter they gave you, the first employment. Okay, and then the letter of your last promotion, the letter of your last promotion, and then the letter of retirement. But in the in some organizations where. A list is just given, a list of people to leave the organization. They just put a list of 600 people or 300 people and ask to quit. And uh, they're not, they don't issue individual letters, but you need to ask. Okay? So, before you leave, go to HR, go to the Human Resource Department and confirm all the, the documents in your file. And if you do not have a document, Please ask them to give you a, a photocopy, all right? Ask them to give you a photocopy. And then, as you move to another, either another employment or you go to do some other work, keep in touch with the organization. Some people, when once they leave, they cut all links with their former organization, but that should not be the case. Keep in touch. Um, find out developments that is going on in the organization and... Uh, uh, Sometimes you cannot be paid until you have reached the age of 60, all right? So what you need to do is to make sure that 
you are at least abreast with what is happening in the uh, in your organization sometimes uh, they change the head office they change the procedures they change everything sometimes you have to in fact uh, I, 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 as far as i know the, the my former organization has been carrying out employee verification for a long time and uh, because there has been a lot of uh, changes in the organization the, even the name has changed several several uh, several times and changed the name and but i kept in touch i visited the organization once or twice and i'm talking about uh, more than a thousand kilometers from where i live so that is what i also recommend to you keep in touch with the organization keep your documentation um, safe and uh, uh, when it comes to because the, the verification could be done by third party organization a third party organization not really the uh, company that employ I employ you and uh, there are so many reforms in the uh, pension industry so keep abreast with the pension I mean keep abreast with the reform so that you are not uh, uh, blindsided and you are not uh, you don't chill yourself out and it means you are putting 15 years in, in, in an organization I think the retirement these days, uh, you are entitled to a pension after 10 years and gratuity after 5 years. So do not uh, uh, cheat yourself out of your retirement benefits. Keep all the documents and uh, I believe that uh, all, uh, all should be fine. So that's what I just wanted to share with you. If um, you like what I've shared with you, please click the, click the like button. And uh, if, you don't, if, you, if you dislike, you can just click the dislike button. And uh, I believe that uh, it's, a, it's a valuable information that I'm sharing with you because of I had to do do a lot of um, I had to do a lot of uh, swearing of affidavits because I didn't have uh, some of the documents I'd lost some of the documents because of the a lot of I mean number of years that has passed and um, I've changed uh, I've changed uh, residence many times and I had to do a lot of uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, swearing and swearing and feeling feet and so on and so forth so do keep your documents very very uh, safely all right so i want you to support this uh, channel and um, for you to support the channel please uh, click the subscribe button and so that you are always abreast of new episodes as i mentioned that i'll be releasing episodes uh, at least once a week click the bell button so that uh, you are always one of the first to be one of the first to be known notified of new releases and then if you want to keep in touch i really am I, I, I advising you to keep in touch with me so because i give out almost 80 percent of the things i do i give them out for free my ultimate guides a lot of uh, ebooks and so on and so forth and even my fiscal books i don't give them out so click the the, the the in the video description section you see some links Click the links and then we'll stay in touch on Facebook or right here on YouTube and on my website and it will be fine. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. Until I come your way again, bye for now.